four minutes away from the ultrasound. Very exciting. <laughs> I want to introduce you guys to somebody really, really close to me. That's Juan, the Dia Silent. Ultrasound day. Brad made bacon. It's our tradition now. Anytime we go up to Charleston, but this time it's kind of making me want to throw up, but it also looks really good, so I'll probably try eating it. Ready? Ready. One, two. That was a good one. Good. Done. He's getting really good at this. <laughs> <laughs> They're really random though, like sometimes they'll be fine and they won't even hurt. And then sometimes for like two days, my entire backside is sore. So you never know what you're gonna get. Big day today, ultrasound day. We're gonna find out if it's one or two. Rachel tried on three different outfits. Um, she finally settled on one. What'd you settle on, honey? Super cute. I don't know what you're supposed to wear to your first ultrasound. And that's what she picked. So the sickness is starting to kick in as of probably Wednesday, and it's not necessarily just in the morning. It's pretty much all day, and I've learned from a few of my friends who have been through this that if you just eat a little bit, like every hour or two, and just keep something in your stomach, then it prevents it from being um, like really nauseating. So. I don't leave without snacks. So I have Ritz crackers, which has been my go-to. If I start feeling sick, I immediately eat one or two of those, and that helps. And then a banana, and one for Brad, and then trail mix, which I just eat every single day. So I started out like eating one of these as soon as I wake up, which I find very strange, but it's done the trick, so I guess I'll do it. All right, let's get the heck out of here. So we are probably halfway to Charleston, yeah, pretty close. And I have, so I have two different types of nausea. I have like this general feeling of uneasiness that I can handle and that's when I usually try to eat something and it goes away most of the time. And then I'm, I'm starting to have this like really fast onset nausea. And it's like, I go from a zero to like a 10 in a few seconds and feel like I'm about to throw up and I have absolutely no warning. So we were just talking about what like what my game plan is going to be moving forward. I feel like I need to have a trash, not a trash bag, like a grocery bag in my purse just in case um, because I, as fast as it's coming on, I don't think I would have time to like even roll down the window. Only you can decide. Yeah, well they have Only like, you can prevent throw up in the car. <laughs> they have like actual puke bags like you have on the plane in the seat in front of you. So I could just get one of those and just set it in my purse so that it's like handy and ready. <clears throat> but anyway, I've had two close calls just in the hour that we've been on this trip. Maybe it's because we're in the car and yeah. I'm not driving. Yeah, I mean you get motion sickness. Maybe it's just like compounding it. I don't know. But I definitely need to get a bag ready. A good banana. I'm gonna put that in slow motion. <laughs> you never want to make eye contact while you're eating a banana. <laughs> off real quick. I don't think Brad's going to try to film the actual ultrasound. Are you? No. I'm not going to. We got yelled at last time. So, we'll hopefully get pictures. Tell about how you feel. Excited, nervous, anxious. Same days.
My old friend. <laughs> <laughs> my old friend Wand here. Yeah. Get it? Wand. Had a lot of intimate moments with her, him. Him. His yeah. name's Wand. Wand? Yeah. <laughs> Officially two. Two for two. Two for two, and we sell both of their heartbeats. So exciting. B, baby B is hiding. Baby A was flaunting it. So <laughs> I wonder if that's gonna align with their personalities. <laughs> uh, hold on, let me turn the car off. Winning! Oh my gosh! Here you go. Yeah, I think we'll leave it just A and B. Yeah. That'll be way easier. That'll be there we are. Yeah, that'll be way easier. Yeah. Thanks, Doc Slowey. I know, we don't even have to think of names. I was worried about that anyway. So we got in there, signed in, they took us back right away. I was in the middle of my banana. <laughs> yeah, Rachel decided to eat a banana. So if you're ever waiting for your doctor and you're like, man, I wish they'd hurry up, just unpeel a banana. And Start your eating it and they'll, they'll, they'll call you back, back right away. Uh, so yeah, we went in, went into the ultrasound room. Rachel took off her pants, sat down, <laughs> and then it was the slowest half hour of our entire lives. Yeah, I was sitting there with that, I mean, the modesty sheet that's like a piece of paper that if you touch it too hard, it rips. So I had that over me and was just trying to not crinkle the paper too much for a half an hour while we waited for Dr. Slowey. Very appropriate name today. To come in, but. But he came in. Worth the wait. And Once again. Saw two. We saw two in there. Not only did we see two pockets or whatever two, they like, call Two like sacks, sacks, yolk sacks. They saw two yolk sacks and saw two like babies and their hearts. Both of them. Yeah, we saw each. We saw separate heartbeats for both of them at six weeks. So that's awesome. Great sign. Very In healthy. Incredible. Well, um, it was hard to tell if Doctor Slowey was excited. I don't think he was excited. He was like, "Well, we're two for two. And then he was like, <laughs> <sighs> "I mean, obviously, carrying twins is a much higher risk. It's much more risky for the for the woman." Yeah, he always. He always says like he wants to balance you between pregnant but not too pregnant and I think twins for him is too pregnant. So he's not too happy but I mean we were already super attached to the embryos so two is we're just so happy about that. We're Yeah. We're we so would have been we would have been really disappointed if it was only one. Right. I was that's what I was worried about was like going in for the first time ever seeing our baby and feeling disappointment instead of happiness. That was like my biggest fear. So it all turned out fine as it always does. This is what I've been praying for all week, was having both of my little embryos in there, and they are, and safe. Prayers answered, for so, sure. So, now I think we should probably go to Babies R Us. Seriously? That's yeah. a horrible idea. Why would we go to Babies R Us? We have like seven and a half months to wait. <laughs> babies R <are> Us. <laughs> oh, babies R Us. It's like the Costco of baby stuff. Oh my gosh. What a trooper. Is that how you're gonna hold both of them? I think your arms are gonna need to be like this. Well, maybe not when they're first born. Yeah, hopefully you'll be able to hold them like that at first. We'll take two of these, two of these, two of those. No, wait, we need a double. Two of these, two of these, two of these, two of these.
We made our announcement today. Yay, it's twins! Yay! Well, the original announcement we made when we were four weeks along. And then today we found out it's twins and we're six weeks along. So, the chances of losing one of the two twins, I don't know what the percentage is, but I guess they tend to miscarry before week 10. You're also at, just with one baby, at like a 12% chance of miscarrying by week 10, I think, with one. So there's always a chance. Right, so it's a little bit nerve wracking telling everybody already that we're pregnant with twins, uh, even though we're at week six. But, you know, we were super positive because, I mean, they saw two heartbeats on today's scan and everything looked great. Dr. Saloy was impressed that everything looked perfect. And the whole conundrum with announcing your pregnancy early, before like week 12, which is considered like socially acceptable, is so that if you lose the baby, you don't have to tell everybody that you lost the baby. I think that's absolutely ridiculous. We are celebrating, when we didn't know it was two, we were celebrating our baby. Now that we know it's two in there, we're celebrating both of those babies and we're choosing to spend this time joyfully and um, with praise and excitement and love them and be excited for them and brag about them and tell everybody about them because we're proud of them. So um, whether we lose one of them or both of them, we're just going to celebrate them for the time that we have and we'll be prepared to share bad news if, if things go that way, God forbid. But um, I think our whole plan with being open about this process from the beginning is because, you know, nobody talks about it. So uh, just getting the conversation open has been really important to us. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I think you said that perfectly. Oh, yeah. well, you don't have anything to add to that? <laughs> no, um, hit the subscribe button if you want to follow us on our journey. Uh, we appreciate the love and the likes and... We're trying to think of a name for this guy that we picked up today. Um, he's really cute. He's about four feet tall, so he's almost, he's probably shoulder height on me. Yeah. And we, we almost bought two. We, all, <laughs> we almost went for the two, the two fur. Uh, well, we did get a two. Yeah. Um, now, we don't know what to do with this giant two now. Yeah, we just used it for the photo that we took to announce that we're having twins. And <laughs> now we don't know what to do with it. So we'll have to put that photo at the end of this. Yeah, we'll link, we'll put the photo somewhere. Yeah. Um, but we're trying to figure out a name for this guy. If you have any suggestions, comment below. It's a giant giraffe. Um, so far we have... We don't know if it's a man or a woman. I think we decided it's a male. I guess male or female. A man or a woman. <laughs> <laughs> See you next time.